The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman singing for Larry's Hour. I spoke to Larry just a short while ago. He called into my show, and he sounded very much better in just overall demeanor, but his voice is still kind of scratchy, and I suspect that that tiredness from the COVID really just stays with That's what I'm hearing from a lot of people, especially the ones that got it a second time. In some ways, they were affected differently, but it just seems to linger. And, and we just want him to be well, so lingering is fine as long as it's improving linger. Um, and I'm, I'm here. I, want, I was doing this live a little while ago in my show um, to show how important certain aspects are in the chat wave that you always expect a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode should go to at least four higher peaks. Okay. Higher peak B, higher peak C, higher peak D, and then you got to be careful. Well, look at this. Lo and behold, the E-mini. This is called the floating letter because there is no peak. There is no peak there. Whoops. There is no peak there. There, 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 there. And there is a peak. And it turns out to be a double top peak. And what I like to do there is to show and demonstrate how you can measure this technical aspect of that peak with the retest and look how much weaker the technicals are. That doesn't mean to say it's going to plummet. It just is. That's where you've got to be real careful because it's testing the previous high on much weaker technicals. And lo and behold, we've pulled back a little bit. But what I was looking at was a position that we have, um, that is an instrument that we have for subscribers to my opening call. It's the TQQ, which is three times long, the Qs. Uh, we have two positions, and uh, we have taken a little bit off on, on, on each one, but especially on the, uh, the initial position. So I just wanted to use this to say in my webinar, questions keep coming up, and it's really tough. Are you going to do live trading? I have no problem with live trading at all. I do this, I mean, all the time when I'm in front of a chart for decades, every minute of the day. I'm looking, I'm notating, etc., or maybe trading, whatever it is. But most importantly is... It, the whole idea is to have a webinar where you learn, you educate, it's education. So if I can't get in the education, what's the point? Yeah, I've had it before. Almost every one of my webinars, we always have at least something that gives a fabulous profit. But I can't make that official. I just, not at this particular moment, until I've written out my, I, I, my notation for Newbie, newbies, it's not the older people that come in, the older uh, uh, Chapman waivers that come in, it's the new Chapman waivers. And that's really, if I can get that just nailed to a very refined series of points that I can make very quickly, uh, that's going to be different. But in the meantime, all I'm saying is it's going to be a course that really shows you how to how do, how do we enter for all our positions that have done well. We've got one position that's up about 32% right now, another one that's up 28 another one's up 20%. But uh, that's not the point. It doesn't matter to you what we're up. It matters to you coming in fresh and then uh, having a technique that you can use. So that's what I'm thinking about. Meantime, what I will be doing is I'm showing how to enter the positions. Now, where did I have that? I thought I had that just a moment ago. Yeah. So we'll be studying and practicing entry points and exit points. And wh wh where do you add? You get into a position. Can you add to it? And if you add to it, where do you take that off? And if you're in the position you get to the D, what do you do when you get to a D? What if you recycle and you continue up to another four higher peaks? You don't really out the position. That's where I show you where you can keep something and put a stop on something else or just take off immediately. Some people only trade Ds. Every time they get to a D and whatever they're trading, they're out and they have to rethink it. So assessing where to add, etc. Projecting price and time targets. I do that all the time. Um, in fact, if I go to back to the ESU, you can see here, have I still got that? I wonder. Yeah, look, 
beautiful arch formation. Look at that arch formation. And then I've typed in, I showed the left side to the right side based on a particular candle because there was no midpoint that looked a real obvious midpoint for a move to the right. So I had to use something else. I'll teach you how to use that. And then I'll teach you how to draw in uh, Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Resistance Line. Meantime, the 200 period, the orange 200 period, moving edge for the 10-minute ESU, which hasn't been touched, touched since it made this fantastic base right here at 10 o'clock on the whatever day that was. I think it was last Thursday or Friday. On the 28th, on Thursday. Look at that move right there. I was, I was live on air. I said, we've touched this four times. Let's see what happens. Look at that move, and look at the technique that I showed here, where that where it turned green, and from the moment you turn green, from let's take the next bar, uh, from forty fifty six, let's go to the high of the bar at twelve thirty, <clears throat> it went before it changed to pink, it went to forty ninety eight. <clears throat> I would say that's pretty good, and then I spoke about the. I'm going to talk about this as well. The long rectangle, let me just get rid of this frog. <clears throat> How the, uh, uh, oops, still there. How the long, I use cup formations, or you can use a V. If you haven't got the technique, the ability in your software program to draw in a, a what it is, it's the quarter of the uh, arch, so that becomes a quaro to make a semicircle. If you haven't got that, you can just use a straight line. You can use anything. You can even type this out and just draw it on paper and pencil. And then I'll teach how you can use your left side, right side, and the narrow rectangle that can last a lot longer than your patients. Eventually, it sometimes pops to the upside and then breaks to the downside. In this case, we kind of did exactly that, and then it started a brand new move to the upside. And uh, then it went sideways all, all through the evening, and then what happens is, uh, you had that sudden pullback right there from the 6 o'clock last night. And then it tried to retest and failed. And it pulled back to where the 200 period moving average. One, two, three, four times hit. And boom, it starts to run. It goes up to a peak A. And now I have to call this a peak B, regardless of whether it fails or not. And that's all you can do. You use your technique and you use your, your ability. And now I have to put an up arrow because it's the stochastic's at 86%. And it says, regardless of what you're thinking, and my thinking was that today would be a bit of a consolidation day. In some ways it is. But my thinking was that the S&P would probably not either today or tomorrow make a new high, and then it would make a peak C, and then we wait for peak D. And after that, we could be in for a bit more of a, 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 um, a congestion phase, I'll call it. All right? So get that out of the way. All right. Now let's get back to the questions that I was asked before. And... Uh, I'm going to go back to it, go in sequence. Could I look at, I did that, I did that, I did that. So I don't know if this was a question about, okay, XLI. I haven't updated that in ages. I wonder if I've even got, let me just see, XLI. Oh, there's the first break. First break coming up, Dow's up 53, S&P's up 9. Um, no, XLI, come on, XLI. Whoops, I didn't mean to put that up arrow in there. Oh, look at that move, a leg B from the low. This is the S&P Select Industrial Spider Fund. Why? Because it's got Caterpillar, it's got Boeing. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, sitting in for Larry Pesavento's Hour. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this, combined with the approvals of all major operational, as well as environmental permits, this distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call Newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call Newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors call, call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Hi folks, Basil Chapman for Larry Pesavento's Hour I'm sitting in and a couple of questions I had here I'm going to get to I'll do this quickly, and then I want to get to many of the commodities. I also want to talk about the dollar, etc. So let me just say, um, so ARKK. Uh, this is Kathy Wood. It's her. Uh, oh, oh, I haven't finished XLI. Let me just finish XLI, which is the S&P Select Industry, Industrial Spider Fund. Uh, it's trading down 10 cents at 95.54. It's had a spectacular run from the low of about 84 in the dreaded H pattern, lowercase h. I'll talk about these patterns, what they mean, and what it takes to start to see a brand new buy signal after that H failure when it's taken out their left side low, especially if within two sessions, maybe three, but especially two, if it immediately flips up and closes above the left side low, which is what it did. But of course, this has a uh, Boeing, it has, this is the industrials, it has Caterpillar, let me show you. So this is only in a leg B, I've got the Chapman Wave left side, right side price time match, and it says that by the 8th of August, this should retest the high that was made on the 7th of June at 97.34. Today's high is 96.04, and it's only in leg B. It should still go to a peak B, that's a lower high. Then on leg C, a higher high than B. And moment it goes one penny above whatever peak B is. It starts leg C, it's called the floating letter, and it, it remains that way until um, it gets, it, it makes a lower high and makes a peak. Or if it's on a trough on the downside, makes a higher low. But in this particular instance, it's a strong leg A after leg E, a trough E in the weekly chart. This is pretty good. And if you look at the monthly chart, you'd never know that in the industrials that we've been in a, in a seven month, it's a seven month um, sell mode in the, or sell signal in the weekly chart, in the monthly chart, and yet it's only gone. From 108, let me just check the exact price. I used to have that all written down. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. All right, I'll do it right now. And that means that the high that was made right there in the S&P Select Industrial Spider Fund, the January at uh, January of 2022 at 107.88. I, I think that's pretty darn good. Down to 97 in a major sell-off, 107.88. Uh, down to, what did I say, 98, it's, it's, it's called a 10 points. 
So that's only about a 10% correction in this huge industrial uh, sector. That's, that's really fantastic. So as far as I'm concerned, what we're looking at is a rotational, as I said to uh, Larry when we spoke a moment ago, I said, to my eye, we've been in recessions. If you look at the RTH index, this is the retail index. This one has 20% Amazon. It's been in a, a basically, look at this, this is like a recessionary phase, right? If you look at the XRT, which doesn't, uh, Amazon is part of it, but it, uh, XRT, not SRT. What is that? SRT, trading at 321. Hey, not a bad chart. Oh, we've seen quite a few like this. Let me just put this down here. Let's just have a look at it at some point. SRT, okay, XRT. Look, that's been, this is, this is Amazon doesn't distort. It's equal weighted. Look at that. From 105-ish or 104 down to 54, I would say that is serious stuff. So obviously Amazon was helping the other one, and uh, it depends what you're looking at. So yes, we've been in recession in many of the same, most of the sectors. So that's the definitions don't really count. The reality is what counts. So let's get back to what we were looking at. The XLI, yes, very nice action. Uh, 95.61 right now. Uh, it's down just a little bit, and I like it. It's made a new recovery high. And it's a leg A in the weekly. It's failed off in an A or in a B. But this is going to be important. That makes the whole 90, 93 area very, very important support to hold over the next few weeks. But if it can break into the 98s in August, wow, that'll be really good action. So far, it's doing very nicely. Next question I had was um, ARK. Let me do that now. ARKK. This is Kathy Wood. It's her ETF. Uh, doing nicely today up a dollar twelve or forty six twenty seven. So I decided we we were in this at thirty seven at some point. Make money, money. But then I decided I would much rather now get the generics because the, when I go through some of the individual stocks that she's got, that some of them are still getting decimated like a Roku, etc. So this says to me. Uh, so the question was asked: Where where would a safer place to get in would would that be? And all I can say is that. There is still risk here. If you look at the weekly chart, even with this move up in the general market, this ARKK, it's kind of stalling. I'd be very selective. I would prefer to do it the way I'm doing it right now just because of the safety factor. Not that it's safe to be three times long, anything, but it's got a better safety factor. And we have a plan for the week on what we're going to make, uh, make alterations and generate other things. But in the meantime, ARKK, uh, where would I enter? Probably this morning, if I picked it up a little earlier, underneath um, 45, it's now 46.27. But even here, then all you do is now you're going to have a little bit less. But I'm close to thinking that this week we're going to see some kind of a digestive phase a little later on if the S&P can get to a PD. And that just says, I'd be a little careful. So let me talk ideal situation. 42.50 to 41.50 is where I prefer. I actually don't want it to go down there, but just visually, that's where I would be looking at as a, a safety factor because <clears throat> it should be kind of oversold, and some of those very, very oversold stocks are ready for a decent bounce. They can rotate into the bounce so that it doesn't work altogether, but it gives it a good cushion. So that's kind of, but I would do this. Right here at 46.26, I am anticipating some kind of weakness. I wouldn't even be surprised at the end of the day there's some weakness. <clears throat> so my preference would be just a nibble at the lows 44.01, trading 46.25. I'd compromise and I'd say, you know what? If it's just a brief dip to 45.30, I'd just do a brief nibble there and I'd have a two-point stop on that. And then we'll deal deal with it. Let's go to our. Oh, we've got, we've got, we've got Greg in Austin, Texas. Greg, how are you? I'm well, Basil. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Oh, good. That's good. You'd like hey, to look I'm at? Call I'm calling on uh, CMAX. So this is CarMax. It's had an absolutely fabulous no, run. No, it's 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 um. Uh, Care Max. It's a uh, oh, uh, Care Max. Healthcare. healthcare. Yeah, it's, uh, more of a. Uh, I can look it up, but I think they do. So, uh, so what's the symbol? Uh, C like car, M like Max, A like Alpha, 
X like X-ray. Now, wait a minute. That's what I've got right now. Trading at 6.97? Correct. Oh, oh, I'm reading it from a distance. It is CareMax. I'm looking at it and it says, it keeps saying like a CarMax. No, it's CareMax. Wow, right, what yeah. a nice move from three from the 340s to 697 right. right now. Do you have a position in it? I do. And uh, I was just, um, I'm wondering if, what I'd, my question for you is, do you think that, it has enough strength to make it to that uh, eight dollar. Um, I, yeah, I my my answer is yes, but let's go through it as soon as I return, folks. Uh, we've great. got Thanks. Greg on the line. We're looking at Car CareMax CMAX and the Dow's up seventy. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Everyone, we're back. Basil Chapman sitting in for the hour that Larry does his show, and I did speak to him, sounding a lot better, certainly a lot better. But in fact, uh, he, uh, he's in a, I think he still needs time. So uh, let me go back to what we're looking at here. I think I lost it. Uh, C Max. There it is. So we're looking at Care Max. The symbol is C M A X, trading at six point nine nine, mm -hmm. down sixteen cents. What? I'm correct, right? Yes. Seen, yeah. Yes. Care Max. Okay. So I like to look at the history, the character of the thing. <laughs> One of the things I'm going to be doing, in fact, or maybe I'll start doing it tomorrow, is look at the naked chart and just look at the chart pattern and say, what is the stock telling? What is the price of this tradable doing? And if you look at it on a monthly chart, it's just made lower lows and lower highs, lower lows and lower highs. And finally, it's got a nice big green candle for the month of July. And now we've started August. But if you look at the weekly chart, even the weekly has just made a single leg A up or B, and then it's come down to a lower low. Failure patterns are like a dreaded H pattern. 
uh, this is the first time in the daily in a while and this is the importance of a, of a moving average. You don't need to use it until you need to use it. So what did it do? It had this cluster formation back in March where it went to the uh, 7 and the 8 area and it kept on hitting the 200 period moving average and then failing. And then finally it just got repelled and it went away from it so far that it couldn't even you couldn't even think of it because the 9 and the 14 were in the way. And then what does it do? It crosses positive goes green, and it's been green ever since, and it's just hit the 200 period moving average last Wednesday, and for three days, it's been above, uh, four days, including Wednesday, it's been above after it just tagged it once, and that was on the, what was the 21st? Yep, the 21st of July at 6.83, and this is basically saying it's got a history of hitting the 200 period moving average and then turning down. What does it need to be able to hold, well, it needs to hold above 85%, probably 90% in the stochastic, what is it, 93%. It needs to have the MACD still, the histogram still be very positive, the 0% line, whoa, it's doing that right now. It needs the nine period exponential moving average to be way above the 40, it's doing that right now. It needs to be holding above the 200 period moving average, it's doing that right now. So this is, are you in a position I am. I just got in okay. a couple of days ago when I was looking for health care was oh. doing okay on a, a down day. I think it was maybe Thursday. Yes, somewhere that's around in the last week. And I bought it and I'm I'm in I've got okay profit. I'm in at six thirty nine. So I'm all right. Well you're all right, but you know, this is such a low price stock and it has moves intraday even that that's even bigger percentage than what you're talking about because six uh, 650, oh, yeah. 664 is the 9 period moving average, but 635 is the 14, and it hasn't been at the 14 since it broke out on the 6th of July, so it's becoming more and more an important support level. So you and I know that these things can happen. What I am going to say to you is, this is the first time that I'm looking at the technicals in the weekly chart that are just suggesting that this is a move that can hold, but I got a feeling just based on everything else I'm looking at, that it's going to wiggle and woggle around this 200 period moving average and that it could slip to the 650s. It could even touch 635, the 14 period moving average. But the most important aspect is that for the first time in a long time, the weekly chart, and this is only Monday, so I can only talk about it in the first hour and a half, two hours of trading, the nine period moving average in the weekly chart is finally crossed positive. So if that can hold all the way through, that says it can go higher. So this is why I would consider that. First of all, congratulations. You did your homework Thank and you. you got in very nicely. What I am going to suggest to you is that this is exactly Caremax. It's in the whole area. It's in, it's in an area. I don't know specifically what it does, but in the healthcare area, there are a number of groups that have had big digestive phases and have started new moves to the upside, and there are a lot of stocks that have had spectacular moves, like some of the pharmaceuticals that are now digesting those gains. This seems to be a latecomer, and it's acting really well. So I like the fact that you got in. What I am going to suggest to you is this. Um, what was your initial stop on your position? And because uh, it's good, what was it? I, I, I don't even remember. <laughs> okay, I don't so, remember now, but uh, okay. uh, yeah. So the most important thing is this. This is one of those cases where I, I, I don't want to say it because it's on air. It makes the responsibility too great because we have no one knows what's next. But I am going to say to you, little doji candle high with a potential PD right. today says it could pull yeah. back a little bit. But if by Thursday in, Thursday afternoon, Friday morning of this week, it has even gone one penny above the high of Friday, which is at 7.34, not only will that suggest that there's internal buying going on, it's going to suggest that if it can even get to 7.52 over the next two weeks, I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but 7.52 is a big percentage, it'll break right. so far away from the 200 period moving average that you've now built in support in the 690s. That's what I would like to look at. So I like, okay. I like it. I like the fact that you're in. I'm just suggesting to you that 
it's one of those with the small caps. If it pulls back, you never know. They come from a peak D, and the next thing you know, they're down 15% yeah. or 20%, or they just don't give up. They keep going high, and you kick yourself. You say, oh, man, why did I even right. get out of this? So I'm just going to yeah. suggest you think it through, because this might be that you've got one position and that you really want to may, you might want to add a second position to it if it just dips quickly to like the, the six, uh, 668, 664 level, but that very same day closed it as, as 675. That's saying, hey, I like the upside, and that's the way I would treat it. I hope that helps you, but I do like it, and I do think that the weekly chart is holding really well for the first time. Okay, great. Hey, I appreciate everything you do. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your calls. Thank you, and congratulations. Yep. Yep. Very nice entry. Uh, so, folks, let me do a couple of other things. As I said, I would do them earlier on. Uh, we did go there. We did go there. A uh, boil. Was, I was asked about boil. Is this uh, boil is the uh, ultra? I don't think we've ever been in boil. Is this the oil? Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Or is it the uh, natural gas? Oh, of course it's the natural gas. So, boil... A peak A, peak B, peak C, it's in, it goes to peak D and pulls back. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to look at the U and G. It should have the same chart. Oh, it does have the same chart. They went to peak C and pull back. So uh, if, if the person's listening uh, still and you're still looking at, well, I'm just going to do United States National Gas Fund. To me, that's a little bit I, I, generic to what I, I want to do. Uh, and you can just extrapolate the same data towards boil, which is, I think, two or three times long. So this is UNG, Natural Gas, United States Natural Gas Fund. It, today's pullback was just a little more than I like to see after peak C. And it says, that's a pity that it was so deep. I would have preferred if it was above Friday's high. So today's low is 26.88. It's trading at 27.33. Uh, nicely up off, off the 14-period moving average low. Okay, if... You're, you're trading the boil. You are doing this a lot more aggressively than I would right now. And I had said, even last week, I said, peak C, pulling back. You don't want more than 136 is my rule of thumb for, for consolidations. I prefer one and maybe three. This is the fourth day of consolidation. I would not be looking at boil. I'd rather be looking at the UNG. So I'm going to suggest, uh, you know what, I'll do a little work on it. When we get back, we'll do natural gas, Basil Chapman, sitting in for the hour that Larry Bizarro is usually here. I'll be back in a moment. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro dollar, Pound dollar, Aussie dollar, Dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Folks, we're back, and uh, Basil Chapman here. This is the papers of interest. Our oh, Larry, Larry's recovering; it's starting to sound a lot better. Just needs a little more time. We're looking at uh, a peak F in the 120-minute uh, chart of UNG United States Gas Fund and natural gas, that is, and it's pulled back to the 50-period exponential moving average. It looks to me like it might need just a little bit more. It needs to establish some kind of a base. It hasn't even formed the arch, the, the quarter. That's the left side's quarter semicircle right there. It's kind of trying to find it. I, this is one of those cases I'd much rather be buying some strength than weakness because uh, together with oil, let me just see crude oil right now. Look, crude oil made a peak D. Oh, there it is, peak D top, Chapman wave peak Ds. Oh, you've got to be careful of those. Look, there's your peak Ds uh, pullback. He has a huge peak D pullback in crude oil from the 100, almost 102 area, trading right now at 93. It hit 92, 42, 10 points in crude oil in just uh, overnight almost. Uh, that's a big move. There's your left side, right side price tie match. I drew this all in on Friday, and I say there's a strong resistance. Here's the Chapman wave inside wedge target resistance line because I couldn't draw it from a particular left side low. I had to draw it from a certain highs. This is a visual thing. Sometimes it's purely mathematical. Sometimes it's artistic. In this case, it was artistic, but what a beautiful series of, I mean, this is nothing artistic about it. It hit every one of those trend lines, and then you broke above it for one bar, 120-minute bar, closed below it, Chapman wave Roman candle, inverted Roman candle, boom, comes back all the way down. So that's this, and this is the irony is that a, a lot of the time, not always, but a lot of the time, you get um, crude oil trading. It doesn't sound like it should happen, but often it trades inversely to natural gas. They just sometimes go in opposite directions. And in this case, they've come down together, and that just says to me, I'd be a little careful, especially the, the, a double or triple of, of natural gas. So if you if you are long, I wouldn't be adding to it right now. If you're starting to position, that's that's fine. Starting's fine. Look for 20, 25.08 is the 200 period moving average. It might just jiggle around that. You want this to move very quickly away and get over the 9 and 14 period moving average into the 2860s. And right now it's at 2729, 20, down $1.33. That's down 4.58%. That's a big deal. Okay, next question I had was, could I look at the, what was it, um, EQT? I don't know what EQT is other than that it really moved very nicely. It is sitting in the 120-minute chart right on the 200-period moving average, which was uh, a resistance, and now it's become key support. But in the daily, it's made a peak D. And you remember peak D, the fourth highest peak is where other things can happen. In the daily, oh, it almost looks like, na it looks like natural gas here. Wait a minute, let me, if you don't mind, I'm going to take a moment, um, just put it in here, and I'll say, um, what does E Q T call do? And it says the largest oh, natural gas. I said it looks like natural gas. We're on the same wavelength there because this is the same chart. Yeah, it's the same story. I just hold off it as this is a PD in E Q T. It's not a peak D yet, in, it's only a C in the UNG, 
And the let me go to the natural gas continuous contract, NG. And I think that did do an E, a D. No, it made a C. All right. So that's very interesting. All right. They're all saying they're pulling back a little bit, trying to find some support here. This is tough. This is tough. It made a V-shaped recovery, and now it's pulling back from that V. Remember Groucho Marx eyebrows? Um, anybody even knows Groucho Marx? Um, and it's a leg C in the monthly. Yeah, I think natural gas is still in play, but uh, it's a little tough. So, okay, all I can say is um, EQT, leading independent natural gas producer with an evolutionary focus on our future. Oh, that's what they say. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so it's the same kind of chart pattern. All I can say is that natural gas, let me just go to the continuous contract of natural gas, is suggesting that 7.65 in the continuous contract, that's going to be key support to hold. I would rather be buying some strength than weakness. So I'm going to just say, uh, if you're going back to the UNG, who was that? Oh, you had Boyle. I've moved away threefold. Um, I'm going to go UNG. I feel safest that way. Holding support right now. Uh, I think this consolidation might need another couple of days. I would love to see it trading at 29.27 or higher. It's at 27.36. That's two points. So you're giving up two points. But any uh, on the way down, this is the 50 period moving average at 25.20. Mm, boy, if it takes that out, that's a big problem. That's just, is even a longer term uh, sh in between short and intermediate term, or let's say near term and short term. It's more short term than near term uh, weakness. So if we're looking at that has to repair. I'd be careful. Right now, I'm sorry. I just have to say I'd be careful. Next question is, um, looking for it. Okay, looking for that, looking for that. LTBR, LTBR is something. Uh, what is this? Light Bridge Corporation. I don't know what they do. It's at 694. Six dollars and ninety-four cents down, thirteen cents. You see, this is what you want. To, this is what you want. Look at that two hundred period moving average. Became resistance, broke out a tad, but closed under it. Broke out sharply and higher, and even today is doing a little cons a consolidation. So that is different. LTBR. Let me see what they're doing. Um, what does what does LTBR stock? Do. Lightbridge Corporation, uh, latest Lightbridge Corporation quote, 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 not interested. Lightbridge, more volatile than 75% of US stocks over the past few months. Uh, with the LBT, link oh, nuclear fuel, tell you, oh, it looks like a nuclear fuel. Look at that. It spikes up and then gives it up. Spikes up and gives it up. Yeah, this is one of those spikes, but it should be less than previous. And it's in a leg E. I like it on a short term basis. All the technicals are good. It needs to at 694. It needs to hold 650s, and preferably before Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday morning. It's at one spike above. It doesn't have to worry about the close, but one spike above. Yes, uh, Friday's high of 646. Yes, uh, no, seven seven eighteen. Sorry, seven eighteen. If we can move to seven twenty three, and then you, what you've done is you finally turn this whole area of the six. Uh, 680s to 670s into support. I like this. I like this on a short-term basis. And nuclear, oh, you even said to me uh, nuclear power technology. Oh, boy, I didn't read that, did I? Okay, that's that, that's that, that's not natural gas. Just, uh, just in, uh, that says New York City declares state of emergency over monkeypox, bloody, oh, viruses. Oh, my goodness. Well, we were there. Two weeks ago, I loved it. I had a great time just walking and walking over. Oh, there's always something new. And I'm always just fascinated how suddenly there'll be a park. And certainly Central Park, looking back towards the, the two new skinny uh, towers, um, with, uh, sort of being framed. I love that. So, Queb is a question that came up in my email. Uh, Queb is the Chinese, it's an internet something, Chinese internet ETF. Oh boy, down 27.54, down 82 cents. I said, be careful. This has got that rectangle formation that's gone from the cup to an arch, and now it's making a second arch. Just be real careful with these Chinese stocks. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Dow is up 124. 
Very nice. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIVC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Hi hey folks, we're back. Uh, Basil Chapman sitting in for Larry Pesaventos. Oh, I just wanted to show you, look, these are the techniques that I'll be showing uh, during my webinar coming up a week from Wednesday. And look at that. I mean, this is the left side, right side price time match. And it went to that point exactly in exactly the number of bars. This is a two-minute ESU 22 chart futures. Um, and then it went to a peak. I'm calling that a B. And then I show how you can draw the cup formation, or if you haven't got a cup, you can draw two straight lines. I mean, one line there, one line there, going to the exact measurement on the left side to the right side. Again, a price time match, and it went exactly now. It's in a leg C. So these are all techniques. These are, I mean, you can't get much simpler techniques than these. And I'm just trying to define them. I'm writing them over and over and over as if I'm fresh, never, never heard of it before. And to be able to do it, to teach it, so that we can go live right away and do these charts. So that's what I'm looking at. And of course, for, you'll get a month of my subscription service, the opening call. We've had a fabulous uh, Ju July. I mean, really, in fact, one of them is up 30% right as we're speaking. Another one's up 22%, uh, 28% actually, another one 20%. So yeah, we've had some really nice trades. Um, meantime, back at the ranch, I just want to say uh, great programming coming up. We've got uh, Kevin Kevin Hinks of Think or Swim. We've got uh, Steve Rose, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien wraps it up. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Check out the front page. Of, I, I really think this is a, a the kind of service I'm trying to do here and with my webinar 
It's a live, 9 o'clock to 2, and you know, questions, you ask me questions, I answer them right away. I'm going to show you the tools. I'm going to give a little note, a little notebook that shows you some of the, the patterns that we're going to be looking at over and over. Um, should be, I'm really looking forward to it. And next week, not this, kind of this week now, but the next week, I think it's going to be a pretty volatile week, I think. We'll see what happens. So in the meantime, we're just about to wrap it up, and uh, Larry is going to be... He's looking after himself, I hope, and his voice, so maybe he won't be back tomorrow, but he'll be back real soon. But he is doing much better. I heard it in his voice, and that's great. So thank you for being here. Uh, check out all the different services. Don't forget, you've got uh, Teddy as this is the last day to be able to get his service. So, yeah, talking about Euro, talking about all these different currencies, etc. And I'll be back tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Basil Chapman signing off.